How many of you remember what this is? This is a cassette tape. Some people call them cassettes. Some people call them tapes. This is, in particular, an audio cassette tape. And so those of you who are old enough would remember some of these cassette tapes. They're, they were quite popular back in the day. How many of you know what this is? This here, some people call it a thumb drive. Some people call it a USB drive, a flash drive, stick drive, USB stick drive. So most of you, I'm sure, if not all of you, are familiar with what this is. This is like the Old Testament. This is like the New Testament. The same music, the same audio that's on here is on here. What's the difference? Well, really, there is no difference if you don't consider the medium that it's on. It's the same audio. It's the same music. It's the same words. Just different format, different, different medium. Okay? This is what it's like between the Old Testament and New Testament. Now, let me get into the Scripture to show you that this is exactly what the Scripture says. Hebrews chapter 8, Jeremiah chapter 31, and 2 Corinthians chapter 3 are what we're going to look at. Hebrews chapter 8 is more or less just a, a rephrasing or just a reference to Jeremiah chapter 31, confirming that Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 31 to 34, is in fact talking about the New Testament or the New Covenant. So let's read it. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in that day, I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and I will be their God and they shall be my people." And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. So, God is saying here that he is going to put his law in the inward parts of man, in the heart of men. Okay, the word law here in the original manuscripts is the word Torah. Okay, Torah referring to the law of God, the Torah of God. We only serve one God, which means we only serve one law, one Lord, one faith, you know, one baptism, one God and Father of all. God said that He will put His Torah on your heart. That is the new covenant. That is the New Testament, okay? The Old Testament is His Torah on tablets of stone. The New Testament is His Torah on your heart, if you are truly born again. I know some of you might be thinking, well, how do I get His Torah on my heart? No, it's not, a, it's not really by memorizing. That's in your mind. It's really by being born again or having this regeneration experience where the Spirit of God comes into you and makes you a brand new creation, a brand new person, okay? Where all the old is gone and all the new has come and the Spirit of God in you, you are born in the Spirit, so to speak, as Jesus put it. That is how the Torah is written on your heart. Okay? Let's look at 2 Chronicles, or excuse me, 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3, and verses 7 to 8. Read this. Paul the Apostle said, For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered to us, written not with ink, 
but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tablets of stone, but in fleshly tablets of your heart. Verse 7, But if the ministration of death, written and engraved in stones, was, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away, how shall the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? So let's just back up here just a second. Paul said that you are, in verse 3, you are um, manifestly declared. In other words, you are openly declared to be the epistle of Christ, which is the letter of Christ. You are, you are the law or the letter of Christ, okay? Ministered by us, Paul says, written not with ink. So you are, you are the law, the law of the Messiah, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tablets of stone, but, with the flesh, but on fleshly tablets of your heart. So Paul here goes back to this idea that we've got the law, okay? He compares it, he said, okay, so we don't have the law written on tablets of stone anymore. We have the law written on the tablets of your heart. So it's not the Old Testament anymore. It's the New Testament. And so what you, re what you really need to realize is that the same words, the same law, the same music, as it were, that's on this medium is on this medium. The same. Okay? Why? Because we serve one God who's not a God of multiple personalities. It's not a, a God of division, a God that's divided. It's one God who has one law with, that reflects who He is, His character, which is one. Okay? He doesn't change. You know, Malachi 3, 6, I am the Lord, I change not. That's the, if you want to read the the so-called Old Testament, and you look at the very last book of the so-called Old Testament, he made it clear. He basically he summed it up. I'm not going to change. I don't change. Okay? What changes is the medium, not the law. The medium on which the law is written. We no more have cassettes. We have USB drives, stick drives, thumb drives, whatever you want to call them, okay? Same law, same Torah. And this is the best illustration of the difference between the Old Testament and New Testament. Same word, which is the law of God. The law of God is the word of God. Same, okay? The only difference is it's written on different, it's basically engraved or put on different mediums. So that's another nugget for you to think about. Thanks again for watching and uh, check out my blog, ChristopherEnoch.org. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to uh, subscribe and also follow me on other social media platforms. Thank you for watching.